Hi, everybody. Hello, hello, hello. I don't know if you can see me. I seem to be having um, moments where you can't see me or you can see me. If anyone's on this call, if they can let me know or if it's a blank screen. Um, anyone or am I just going to be talking to myself today? Um, can you see anything over there? Nothing? Is it a blank screen? Has it gone live? Um, hi, thanks for joining me. Can you, the person who just joined me now, are you able to give me a nod or something to let me know that you can see me or is it just going to hear me? Um, you can see me? Oh, you can see me. Okay, perfect. Thank you. Right, because all I can see is a black screen, which is probably great because, you know, I'm not going to fuss with my hair. <sighs> okay, breathing space. Thank you, uh, Jane, for that. That's much appreciated. So, oh, beautiful. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So today I'm talking about jealousy. And um, so it's Debs Cooper here, which is obviously uh, the global stressologist. Um, today I'm talking about jealousy being the builder and destroyer of connections. So when I said to my assistant, I'm talking about jealousy and I'm talking about the builder and destroyer of connections, she was like, the builder? I can see the destroyer, but I can't see the builder. And I was like, yeah, that's a little bit of a spin we have when we only choose to see one side. So this is not purposely for her, but for other people, clearly. But let me just talk about what jealousy actually is. Um, it's an ass. An ass would be, I say in New Zealand, it's a frustrating thing that's a waste of energy um, that can destroy us can put us to a place of a state of psychoticness, can take us to little wobbles, uncomfortableness, the emotions in our bodies, our intuition starts getting thrown out when we actually don't listen to the bigger picture. So jealousy really comes from where you perceive somebody has something other than you, something more than you, something more than what you think um, of what's truly going on. So I've, I started writing notes on this and I started looking at actually how superficial it was of the things that we truly get jealous over. So I started looking at my clients' files and looking at now, I remember we did jealousy on this, what was it actually over? And the, the issues that I came up with were, what, so what's actually really truly going on for you? Is it because the other person has a different body shape to you? Is it that this other person has, and when I say uh, body shape, you know, they may have more polished um, skin than you, eyebrows, bigger boobs, smaller boobs, um, for men, bigger or smaller, any of those things. There's also money that's an issue. People are jealous over money. People are also jealous when somebody has a business idea. Um, people are also jealous of uh, past life experiences as in um, children. They've got children to somebody else. They're also jealous over um, intimate connections that they used to have in the past. Um, people are also jealous over the departments, you know, in a, in a business, certain departments getting more money than others. Um, people getting recognition over others. Jealousy can turn people to an insane level of uncomfortableness within themselves but also psychoness. And when I say psycho, there's different levels of psycho, as we know. There's the extreme level which sometimes we go to without realizing, but it just goes from zero to 100. Now, when we have jealousy um, for those things, if, if we relate it to something personal, um, but even as Christmas comes up, alcohol, um, drugs, uh, lack of sleep, any outside influence can throw your jealousy off, being what other people say to you, what you hear, what you see, any of those things. So I've got some tips here to, tips here today to tell you about this but I would like you to know that um, when you look at somebody and you compare yourself to them and don't even bother telling me BS that you haven't because that's just BS as you know just know that they're their person they're not you so when you're comparing yourself to somebody else that's their person. You don't know their journey. And even if you're a best friend to that person and they've got this, this, and this, you don't know the full side of them. So that's their person, not, not you. Um, and that's thanks to my assistant who put that in. I was like, that's a great actually point. Yes, you're true. Um, everyone has issues. Everyone has issues. I've worked with um, a beautiful, I remember working with this beautiful model, model many years ago. And I thought she was stunning so much so that I was dumbfounded with my words around her. 
as sometimes I am, captivated by somebody. And she started talking about how she had uneven boobs. And I'm like, are you serious? Your boobs look great to me. Seeing her fully clothed, I could see that. But she started complaining about it. And I, and I forgot about that other people have their own issues. So what we see, we choose sometimes not to see both sides of them. But her issue, she had body dysmorphia. So it actually allowed me to go, wow, I wouldn't have thought that because I see the most amazing side of you. I don't see that. So be aware that everyone has issues, whether you are a, a high profile person, a low profile person, um, what is a high or low profile person? Um, any issue where people look at you or you self-reflect yourself, everyone has some sort of issue in their life of what they perceive about themselves. So the key is to throw that shite away. Throw it away, ditch it, we haven't got time for that. However, if you aren't quick enough to throw that shite away, you have to look at what's really going on. So I've, I've devised three tips for you to break down. So when you see somebody, so let's go to, uh, let's go to, let's go to body shape. Let's go to body shape because um, it was the first one I talked about. So let's go to body shape and let's go, what do you have over them? So you may see that this person, like the the, the beautiful person who had the uneven boobs, um, and yes, I am talking about boobs on here We'll just because it's just easier to talk about and it makes me smile. So there you go. So we talk about boobs and we go, what do you have over them? So she may have uneven boobs, um, but what – well, I didn't see that. But what do you have over them? So I had um, a captivating smile. And you're listing all the things that you have over them. I have a captivating smile. I have a knowledge that I can um, help people with. I have, And so I start looking at what do I have over them. You can definitely reference their boobs, but it's more about what do you have over that person. Remembering that they are their person, they're not you. So what do you have over them, which can be what's the upper hand you have over them. It doesn't really matter. It's just flipping the mindset. So number one is what do you have over them? List every single thing. There's seven areas of life. Um, look at all the areas of life. Spiritually, what do you have over them? Mentally, what do you have over them? Uh, financially, what do you have over them? Socially, what do you have over them? Uh, family environment, connections. Look, look at all those things. Um, what do you have over them? Now, this is not dismissing them or discrediting them at all. Just look at what do you have over them. Don't go, okay, well, I've got some great friends, but they have too. But what do you have over them? Okay. Number two is if you perceive that they are gorgeous or, you know, gorgeous looking, where is their um, opposite side? Because everybody has two sides, but we choose to sometimes only see the one side equation here so what do you have uh, so what do what do what is their opposite of what them they're them having so if I look at um, someone who's uh, beautiful what is their ugly side what is it so maybe they turn down their nose or maybe they don't look someone in the eye which could be seen as an ugly so what is the things that they have two sides of that you can see they have evenly and you're going to list all the the other side that you've chosen not to see until you can see it balanced so, um, you know, somebody may have uh, more, more money gone into the department because this is quite a common one in, in, in uh, business is that some departments get more recognition or they get uh, more money in their, in their kitty. I say kitty. Kitty means for the Americans. Kitty means in their pot, in their pot, in their area. So we look at, okay, so, so where are they getting the opposite of that? Just to balance that and center that back down. So the opposite of what's the opposite, knowing that they have two sides. And the third tip is what's the benefit to you of what's happening to you this right now? So what's the benefit to what's happening to you right now when you have this reflection, this smack in the face, this jealousy, this label? What's the benefit to you of this happening? So there may be things like um, when, so so I had a, I had a, big jealousy issue in my past relationship that just boiled and I didn't realize it was boiling underneath and when it blew it blew and so one of the one of the things is for me to look at that I go what's really up happening right now but what's the benefit to me of this happening well it really allowed me to have a good damn look at myself it allowed me to propel myself to um, self-reflect and assess where I am in my life do I want to be 
in this in the space and in the space and time um, is there things that I can change is there things that I love about myself what's really going on so what's the benefit to you of this happening you know um, do I have a friend that I can talk to about this do I uh, do I need to change things is it really worth me changing this stuff so what's really going on um, in business is it worth talking to the manager and saying look I've noticed that this department gets um, three hundred dollars extra a week and we we only get um, you know a mis miserable amount what can we do to change that so what's the benefit to you of what's happening to you so the three tips are what do you have over them list everything that you can think of everything um, look at uh, what's the opposite of them having that what's the opposite that they have two sides and number three is what's the benefit to you of what's happening right now and one of the things I love is that it propels you to self-reflect and assess on where to go. Um, oh, these are lovely little reference. Tracy's just done a reference, um, Desirata by Max Ehrman. Um, if you compare yourself with others, you may become vain and bitter. For, there, for always there will be greater and lesser persons than you, yourself. Okay, I won't going to read that again because I clearly... But that's in, in the notes. So that's a great one. Thank you, Tracy. Um, so it's about propelling yourself to self-reflect and assess. And if you're not self-reflecting on yourself and assessing yourself and checking in, am I doing everything to the, the best I can right now, then there's something going on internally for you in your mind. Um, everyone is different. Every person you meet is different and have different ticks to what's going on. So it's really important when you move businesses and you go from one business to another is don't bring that baggage into the new connections you have. Um, so when I used to work for uh, a government agency, people would go, oh, I'm so jealous that person got the job. I've been here 20 years. Why did they get the job over me? Well, clearly there's different reasons why they got the job over you if you've been there 20 years and you haven't evolved in where you are. Then there's possibly something going on, but you you don't you treat that person who comes in as new. So don't bring your baggage into your new connections. That's also for um, business, clearly for business, but also into your intimate world as well. So just know everybody's different. Everybody has their own ticks. Everybody has their own drama going on in their mind. Um, it's allowing you to find out what works for you. So as I go back to the start of this call, I talked about. Um, Jealousy is an, I think I called it an ass, uh, and a waste of energy. Just know if you sit in that space, you're going to destroy your soul. You're going to destroy who you are inside. It's just going to keep chewing away. When you add on extra devices into your world, it's going to keep building and building and building like the snowball coming down the hill. So it's really important to clear the stuff and let it go. Um, and the stuff, when you really dig down into it, is actually superficial. BS. It's a, it's a total waste of your energy. But you're human and you are going to get waves of jealousy. That's common. Um, so you have to, it's wise to have a look at what's really going on. So what do you have over them? List as many possible things as you can. What's the opposite is number two is what's the opposite. So where do they have the other side to what you're perceiving? Um, and number three, what's the benefit to you of this happening right now? Um, and it's to me it's all about your self reflect and your assessment of who you are so I think that's it I think that's it is there any questions anybody um, just feel free to throw them in um, 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 um don't they say professional speakers shouldn't say um well guess what um 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 so if you have any questions let me know if you've got anything coming up you'd like me to address drop me a message other than that I'll get off this uh, Cool. Thank you very much, everybody. Jealousy, the builder and destroyer of connections in your intimate and professional world. So thank you. Next week I will be, I don't know where I'm going to be next week. That's next week. But thank you, everybody. Enjoy the rest of your day and we will connect next time. Throw that shite away. No more jealousy. No time for it. Unless you're going to do steps one, two and three. Thanks.